Good morning. <laughs> so it's been a while, oh, a couple weeks since I've done another video. This one's name is Annie. Welcome, my name's Karen, and I own Karen's Critters, and so I appreciate you following along on my little journey here. So, kind of just decided to do this as a whim. Like, this dog is a giant mess. <laughs> so we're gonna make her gorgeous and make her feel a lot better, huh? So uh, she's a 10 year old Chelsea, her mom. They're new here. Uh, the owner of this dog has dementia and um, so the family was like, uh, the caretaker, you know, is not taking care of the dog. So the family's here and they're like, oh my God, the dog needs help. So um, she's on the verge of not being able to be brushed out. So she's super thick. Um, I don't recommend shaving these guys. Um, there's a lot of stuff on um, Facebook that says that if you shave these guys, you know, they're gonna overheat and blah, blah, blah. Most of that's a bunch of crap. <laughs> it's, not, it's not real, guys. I've never seen a dog go into the vet for heat exhaustion because it was shaved, but I've seen them go into the vets for super thick coat that never get brushed. So um, the worst thing that could happen is if you shave this coat, sometimes it doesn't grow back in correctly and it'll leave it spots. You got two different kinds of coats. You got these black wispies things and then you got your soft undercoat. Sometimes the undercoat doesn't grow back in and all you get is these black wispies and it looks awful. So. If you have a dog like this and you're thinking about shaving it, just be aware that if you shave it, it's not the end of the world, but it may not look like a Sheltie again. So I really didn't want to shave her. However, there's a real fine line as a groomer or an animal caretaker, sorry, I got hair in my mouth, um, to make sure that what we do is humane. So she's bordering on that and the people know this. So I told them I would try. I'm thinking that a lot of this will blow out, but I don't, I won't know until I get in there. So I also, um, with these kinds of dogs and your Pomeranians and things like that, I will shave the chest. So I'll do a maternity trim on them and I will shave from the armpits all the way back to their butt. And then depending on how yuck the butt is, I will shave some of the inside of the butt too. And that helps to like make a shell so that this coat will kind of come out easier and you're not pulling on super tender spots like the armpits and the soft skin spots in that belly area. She also has huge knots behind her ears. So those are gonna get naked. And so, um, let's do this. This is going to be a mess. I'm going to eat a lot of hair today and uh, I'm ready. So. I'm going to start with a 10 blade and I'm going to just get rid of these big spots behind her ears. And yeah, there's going to be big bald spots there. I think I'll move the camera and see if we can see this. Let's see. Let's see. This is kind of a, making videos is an art form all in itself. Say hi, Annie. I don't even know if it'll stay up that tall. It's not going to. It says, no. Okay, so here's the big mat. See that ball? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our 10 blade and we're gonna need to leave it flat and we're just gonna work at it. Um, slowly. You gotta be careful because there's folds of skin back here. So I'm gonna lay the ear flat. And you, even with 10 blade, will nick sometimes. So you have to be careful and keep your blade flat. Just kind of work at it. A little bit here and there. Try and get this out. My noose is totally in the way. So 
normally I would put this around the front leg and the shoulder and not the neck also. Um, but I'm gonna shave the armpits in just a minute, so. Should feel a lot better with this coat off, that's for sure. Should be a new dog. 10 pounds lighter. <laughs> I wish it was that easy for me. <laughs> Take off 10 pounds, please. Okay. So, can you guys see this big hole? There's this big hole in there. Here. You see that? I don't know if it's showing it or not. There it is. Woo! There it is! <laughs> Probably showing my age saying that. So, these clippers are, they're lobs and they're old and they're getting ready to die need to be replaced honestly all right it's a big old rock of a map so when they get like this there is no brushing that out folks so there's a big hole right there i think we can brush the rest of it out all right we're gonna flip and do the other side now we're gonna turn it around and do the other side come here honey there you go Woo! good girl Make sure the skin is super flat under there. You don't want it folds. So I guess this really isn't a how-to. I'm just gonna show you what I do and talk about it. There's another big ball of mats. So she's got, oh, she's so thick all the way down her chest. All right, so now we're gonna move you over here and whoa. Try and set this up without it falling. Now it's totally out of the. Now it wants to fall. Jeez. Okay. Maybe I'll sit here. I doubt it. There. All right. Hi, Abby. We're gonna make you so pretty today. Going to be beautiful. I'm gonna need a super shower by the time I'm done with today. Bad. Gonna be a fuzzy day. Need a super shower. She's taking this like a champion. 
Yeah, you are. You're keeping it like camping, huh? Poor baby. She'll feel so much better when she's done. So we're gonna do more of the same. We're gonna blow her out, we're gonna brush her. Um, we'll go on from there. Oh, I forgot I gotta put cotton in her ears. Check. Done. I thought I took them out, but I guess not. 